Hello, in part 1, we have discussed about the basic MOSFETs, P-type, N-type, and their basic bridge configuration, half bridge, full bridge, like that sort of thing. Today, we will discuss about the H-bridge driver IC. There are several driver ICs are available, but then almost all of them are same. Uh, what I wanted to cover here by an IC called IR2104. It has got single input. So uh, if you want to use it for complementary uh, output, then you have to use an inverter. But there are ICs we will discuss later where a single IC will also automatically convert the input to inverter output. Now, what you can see here, this MOSFET is half half bridge. This with this driven by this, and this is driven by this. The other things that are important to know is the bootstrap capacitor where we have a diode, and this is a bootstrap capacitor, and this bootstrap capacitor develops a we are discussed develops a voltage, isolated voltage for the source and the gate of the upper transistor. We discussed in the part one where you need a separate voltage from source to gate drive, otherwise, because it doesn't have a ground reference compared to the bottom transistor, which has a ground reference. So we can give trigger from source to gate here, and the gate can come from here. That is why it's called low and high. This IC gives low and high at the output, and an in input it takes here. It has a one advantage of this 2104 is that it has a shutdown pin also. In shutdown pin normally kept high, the output is there. But in the shutdown pin, I make it zero, output will vanish. One of the output will vanish. This is for this, and this is for this is this this one goes away. The, when both of them are on, you can see the output is combined. This this one is going high, this is going low. And then what you find is the output is combined. And now this is on the 5 volt scale. This is on a 5 volt scale, but this is on a 5 volt scale. You find it is doubled. That is what is the difference when you find full bridge operation. Shutdown, I have explained the shutdown part of it, but this is just a very schematic type. But actual one has to have some dead band between these two. Dead band in the sense when you move this, like for example, when I move this. See, this is exactly at the same place. But that means when one is switching off, when one is switching off, the other one is switching on exactly at the same time. This is not a good sign because that would, in that case, what will happen? That the MOSFET, the power may get directly short circuited at this particular junction if, if there is no time delay. So we call that as a dead band. We will call it, we'll discuss that dead band concept in our subsequent. Uh, System while we actually feed the we actually feed the complementary pulse here or we uh, take one IC which will give the complementary complementary means when this is going high this is going low when this is going high this is going low that is complementary output and ultimately when you use a transformer you get a combined output of all these two this is A this is B and this is the combined out. So this is what the H bridge configuration. So we are given some registers here, but in actual practice, there will be much more different circuits which we will be discussing later. Thank you.